my shirt's a little tight. I probably should have got an XL. It's okay, I'm all right with it. All right, look, today's video is brought to you by Tilton Engineering. They sent out a bunch of parts for the four-seater beater, and we just wanna say thank you to them. Support the people who help us bring this content to you guys. That would be awesome. Give them a follow. So they've been around since 1972. They have a huge racing heritage behind them and I run them in the pro car and now we're gonna run them in this car. We wanna run a Tilton in this car because we're gonna be doing a bunch of ride along stuff. We're gonna be doing things with our different partners and, and stuff like that. We need the reliability in the clutch. This is gonna be one of those things that we're gonna be doing that maybe is a little bit outside of the budget bill, but for the sake of reliability and longevity, this is where I'm going. You could also do these things and the reason that you would is again, more time on the track versus sitting in the pits is it always a good thing. This is one of those investments that I like to do in my cars because I don't want to have an issue with the clutch slipping. I want to go drive with my friends. I want to go drive competitively. I don't want to be in the finals and have my clutch hot and then it finally goes out or, you know, at any point ever while you're driving, you don't really want these things to slip because it just causes problems. So your flywheel messes up, then your pressure plate gets hot, then your disc gets worn out. So it's just like, it's just drama. So with the weight and all the stuff that we're putting in here, we're gonna put a tilt in, in this car. This goes again, a little bit outside of the budget realm, but you're not gonna see us have any clutch issues. Mark my words. Are you listening? Damn. So with Tilton being one of my big partners in Formula Drift, we reached out, we told them what we were doing with this car and they sent us out a clutch, no questions asked. But I wasn't expecting this clutch. Hugo's here again, as always, obviously we're at his house. Kind of interesting if we were here and he wasn't home. Check this out. So we have the Tilton flywheel, which is substantially smaller than the factory one. Pressure plate mounting hardware. We have the flywheel mounting hardware, the clutch disc, and then my favorite piece of all, the pressure plate. So this is a seven and a quarter. This thing is beautiful. And on top of it, it's not just a single disc and it's not just a dual disc, it's triple disc. Ugo. I didn't even catch that. Dude. You didn't catch that? <laughs> triple disc. The race car has a four disc. Why? It works. We set it up. Have we ever had any slipping issues ever? Oh, I feel no. like, I feel like we have more gripping issues than we have slipping issues with the tilted. So you don't usually drive the car. We usually have Anthony do it. Mm -hmm. And we usually make Anthony do it because he gets embarrassed if he stalls. We did some modifications to that to make the drivability better. They have a clutch delay valve, which is super awesome. Um, so that was in that car and now that four disc is way easier to drive. With this being a triple in a factory car, it should be a good time, but the size and diameter should allow us to get the motor to rev up and be a little peppier. I'm freaking super stoked. So we're gonna install this thing and I'll show you guys a couple of things with like, a lot of people don't understand how you install this. Uh, so we'll just run you through it and I'll show you a couple of things as we're putting it together. The setup I think is around the $1,800 mark. Again, this is gonna be one of those longevity reliability things. There's plenty of other clutches to go with out there, but the tilt and stuff we've never had problems with. So tilting it is baby. All right, so it's not beyond me to not understand that most people have not seen what a triple disc is or what it means or how it goes together or anything like that. So I want to show you guys how this is gonna be going together and then we're gonna install it in the car. To fill you in on a triple disc, the reason it's called a triple disc is that there's actually three clutch discs. This is gonna be your first one and then there's your intermediate disc, which is your second one and then there's your third disc. So those are your three discs. Now let me show you how the pressure plate system works. When Tilton sends them out, they send out, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's one, two and three marks would show you which pressure plate goes where in what order. So the way that this works is that, so you have your flywheel and then you have disc number one. First pressure plate will go on. Your intermediate disc will go on. Second pressure plate will go on. And your third disc goes on. And then your final pressure plate and last disc will go on. There's always gonna be a disc in between metal to metal. Metal, disc one, metal, disc two, metal, disc three, and then your final pressure plate. And that's essentially how it goes together. All these red lines will go back together. Like you wanna keep all this painted stuff on the same spot. This is essentially how the triple disc will go together. One of the other things that I think people are probably wondering is aligning all of these splines. You're still gonna do it the same way you do a factory one. The only difference is, is that you're gonna have to find the alignment 
come in on all three discs, which again, isn't that big of a deal if you're taking your time and you're being precise with holding the disc in position steady as you begin to tighten down the uh, pressure plate. So that junk's out of there. Let's throw in the nice fancy stuff. Also, real quick, we already removed all the transmission and all that stuff from the car because there's no point in filming it. You guys don't want to see it. It's kind of boring and it's already there. Now we're just going to go straight into the install process. If you guys want to know how to take a transmission off, I'm sure there's a million videos out there. It's really not that hard. You just keep taking things off until you finally get the transmission off. One of the things, just a quick pro tip, the starter has two bolts from the backside on the transmission. You undo both of those bolts and then you should take like a long extension and smack the starter because it's on a dowel pin on the uh, transmission. So it'll like act like it's still stuck to the transmission. You just need to smack it and it'll f fall off and sit in its place. Anyways, let's install. First things first, Loctite your hardware. You don't want this stuff backing off, especially what flywheels can do when they come loose. If you haven't seen what a flywheel can do to a car, transmission, legs, the floor pan of your vehicle, you should go look it up because this stuff's serious. Oh, yeah. So Loctite your crap and torque it down. Let's throw the pressure plate in. I don't know why I keep saying pressure plate. I'm talking about the flywheel. Let's throw the flywheel in. Gas! There she is. Big ugly transmission out of the car. Uh, don't do that at home. That's a bad idea, but we don't have any jack stands and the front of the car is held up very well. So we're not really working back there, but don't do that. Don't do that. Looks like it's got a dowel pin there. Uh, or not a dowel pin, but like a sleeve. So we should see if there, yep, right there. Boom, that's the one. So that one's gotta be on the bottom. Set the hardware in. Let's go. And the last one. Now the next thing we're gonna do is just set these down. We just wanna run them until they're in. You just wanna seat them, you wanna seat it nice and even. You can kinda see the disc walking. You don't wanna tighten one side all the way down first because you can, you can bind it all up. So you just wanna walk them. Sweet, let's torque it down. All right, now it's all torqued down and ready to go. It is time to install the clutch disc and pressure plates. All right, so again, make sure the red marks are all lined up. Make sure you got your plates in order. Make sure your discs are stacked right. This one is intended to go that direction. So make sure you have your plates lined up the way that Tilton says in their installation instructions. Next thing we'll do, take our alignment tool. And like I said, we gotta line up all of our discs. So it's gonna take a little bit of spinning there's disc two, then we gotta spin to find disc three, which we can actually just do this because she doesn't seem to want to line up. There it is. Now while I'm holding all those up, we'll go ahead and align the pilot bearing. Bolt number one, I don't think that's the, this is it here. There it is. After you get another one started, you can take your hand off. What I'm doing to find those bolt holes is I'm holding pressure on the head of the bolt and I'm moving the entire pressure plate to find the hole in the flywheel. The reason we're swapping this too is because BMW clutches are usually garbaggio. And uh, I definitely smoked the clutch in second gear already and we need second gear for all the style of driving we're going to be trying to do. It's, this car is going to be a second gear car. So I'm also, as I'm tightening down these bolts, I'm also holding the plates in line and I'm shoving the alignment tool into the pilot bearing until it settles flat. And then once it settles nice and even and flat, then I know that all my discs are in line. As I'm tightening these down, I'm making sure that the alignment tool is being held in the position that I'm going to hold it with the final Titan. If you don't do this, you will have a world of trouble. So always maintain pressure on this alignment tool while tightening down the pressure plate in any form, whether it be with like this, your hand, or with the gun, or with the torque wrench. Now that that has been held like that, I should be able to slide this 
in and out of all three plates and into the pilot bearing no problem that's what you're going to want because when you throw your transmission back in if that doesn't line up you will never get the transmission in make sure that tool's always depressed as you're tightening things down so now that's there we'll go ahead and uh slowly begin to tighten in a star pattern we're going to do this with the gun if you are not that experienced with power tools or with how mechanical things work, you should probably stick to doing it with your hand. We've done this quite a few times, so we're gonna use the gun. It's faster and a lot of your master techs are using electrical tools, you just don't know it. So again, maintain pressure on that. And I'm just gonna run these in just a little bit. Not a lot. I'm gonna start a pattern. Slowly walk the pressure plate to a seated position. One of the things you'll notice is the pressure plate forks, these guys here, begin to depress as you apply pressure. Um, you're essentially sandwiching the disc. So as you sandwich the disc, the forks begin to depress and come in. Again, hold that tool. Now we have one completely bottomed out. We just gotta make sure that the rest of them are nice and bottomed out. You'll know that you've done this right if all of your corners are sat nice and flat and if your clutch alignment tool will pull it out and back in smoothly. So, voila, should slide back in. There it is. So we'll do the final torque on these bolts, make sure they're all good, and then it's time to install the transmission. So when it comes to torque specifications, Tilton sends out these nice fancy torque specification cards. Um, a lot of these torque specs are gonna be based off of bolt size, and then obviously like this one has to do with bolt size and manufacturer. Just in case you're wondering where we're getting our torque specs from, that's how we're doing it. So these are only 18 foot pounds which seems like it's not a lot but as we ran it in with the gun we sat them all flat i think five five of these six were still loose so make sure you torque it down ready to roll all right now that that's in double check again that's all good one of the other things that we forgot to mention was that tilton also sells the release bearing for this kit essentially what you do is you swap out the release bearing that's in there you throw this guy in and it's a little bit taller in this area here in order to compensate and allow you to use all of your factory parts still let's get this thing on the trains this one's old plastic and this one's nice and built so that's pretty cool all right so a little bit of lube slide this bad boy on Kind of tough to do with one hand. Make sure it seats all the way. Make sure your clip's on. This will save you a lot of time uh, as far as putting the transmission on, finding out it's wrong, and then having to take it off. Well, the transmission, time to go in. Test drive time. Ready? Go ahead. Ooh, feels good. She got a little bit of mist, don't worry. She'll warm up. Give her a second. Again, a red line a day keeps the mist far away, and today we haven't had a red line, so we'll get there. All right, let's see what it does. Oh, it's not bad at all. It just feels like it's it's purposefully engaging is all. That that feels great. Wow. 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 Great job, Tilton. Oh. <laughs> it had to happen once. Wow, talk about a clutch that's like ready to freaking go. This thing's not bad at all. Yeah, it feels good. I'm impressed. I thought the drivability was gonna be difficult. Look at it. No gas. Beautiful. Dude, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a little 
little bit of getting used to. Pedal's a lot stiffer now. Oh my god. It's working like great, dude. I didn't expect it to be this smooth. Oh, traction control. That's right, because of the welded dip, we have to turn off traction control, otherwise the car just does what it did right now. It just goes, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like, doesn't want to roll, and it's spinning. Yeah. She's ready to go, boys. Is it just me, or does it feel like it's a little peppier? It feels like it, dude. One thing we should check is how fast it revs up now with this clutch. Because now we're dealing with a smaller mass. That's way faster than before, huh? Oh, yeah. Was that not faster? That was quick. That's yeah. way faster. Oh my God. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, we just got like. Who wants the smoke? Who Race, wants the smoke? for pinks right bring now. Bring your Lamborghinis. Bring your Ferraris. I don't care. You're getting the smoke. Dude, in all seriousness. Wow, I'm very impressed with this clutch right now. I'm not even trying to hype it up, like, for the camera. This is, like, this is great. Listen to how fast that revs out. It's, it's beating, it's beating the RPM gauge to redline. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you see that? Look it's at too this. slow. Look at the RPM gauge can't keep up, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, see what she does. Oh yeah. We haven't even started to like dial in the chassis to get it to slide easier. Like this is still like I don't even know what the tire pressures are at. I don't know. Like the suspension's all soft. Everything still feels like crap with the rest of the car. But it's gripping. There is no slipping. I'm just saying, I'm not a rapper. This thing feels way peppier than before. Yeah, for sure. Right? It's like, it's like right away, like, ah, like it wants to go. Dude. I'm impressed. Yeah, dude. Me too, big time. So yeah, the price tags, you know, up there. But again, <laughs> it works. It uh, works yeah. great. Second gear dump. Before we would dump second and it would just slip its life away. Tilting. Yeah. Great job. This thing's amazing. I can't wait to start on like the, the rest of the stuff that we have, which I think we have about two or three more things we need to do to the car in order to help it drift. But right now it's ready to go. And now we should just head to Jeff's because Jeff is setting up his whole shop and allowing us to use his lift. Now that the car's operating good, the clutch isn't slipping, nothing's loose. Now it's time to get into the suspension of the car. Right now, the car is ready to go. It doesn't need anything else to drift, right? There's drifting and then there's higher qualities of drifting. Yeah. So this will allow us to do a low quality of drift right now, which we'll go do. Again, you can stop here, but where's the fun in that? Yeah. Thank you, Tilton, so much. This thing is a million times better. I appreciate it, the fans appreciate it. Again, guys, go support the people who support us and help us bring you guys this content. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay safe. Don't forget, I know it's like every guy said, oh, subscribe and like, subscribe and like, subscribe and like. The fact is, is that you guys liking the videos actually helps us out a lot. It gets the video in front of other people's eyes. So with you liking this one, YouTube suggested to more people, which in turn helps us grow the channel which in turn helps us build more content, which in turn helps 
us be able to continue doing the sick stuff that we want to do. We thank you guys for the support and we appreciate you guys going along for the ride. Stay safe, boys.